Hey, Eva. I'm here to ask you 73 questions. Sounds good. Come on in. Okay, where are we right now? We're in the Cavalier Daily office in the basement of Newcomb. And how many hours a week do you spend in the office? Oh my gosh, probably around 20, I would say. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, what's one of your favorite Cav Daily office memories? Probably staying up until like 3 a.m. on election day. And how long have you been on staff? I have been on staff since August 2019, so my first year. Wow. Um, what section did you join first? The first two sections I joined together were sports and poppy. And what's your current position? I'm the editor-in-chief. Okay, so you spend a lot of time in the office, but how much time a week do you think you spend doing Cav Daily things outside of the office? So cumulatively, I probably work 45 or 50 hours a week. So I guess outside of the office, that's probably 20 or 25 extra. Dang. Okay, so what's your favorite thing about Cav Daily? My favorite thing about Cav Daily is just like the community that it's given me while on grounds. And what's your goal for this term? To give other people that same community and family that I found. What's your favorite memory from your time on Cap Daily? Um, my favorite memory is probably waking up at like 4 a.m. with the old editor-in-chief, Jen Bryce, uh, to go cover the removal of the Robert E. Lee statue um, in downtown Charlottesville with a bunch of like national media outlets. That sounds so fun. <laughs> um, what is something being on staff has taught you? I would say being on staff has taught me the importance of listening. And how would you describe Cap Daily in three words? Um, I would say community and character building. Um, what advice would you give to prospective staffers? My advice would be to join a section that you um, didn't like necessarily think about joining, like something sort of more out of the box for you. And we have to know, what's your favorite section? I can't choose favorites. <laughs> well, will you tell us what you prefer to write subjective or objective pieces? Um, I probably have a special place in my heart for objective literary since that's where I came from. Got you. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hey, Ava. Hey. Uh, what's your position on staff? I'm the managing editor. And can you explain what being the manager editor means? It means I oversee all the objective literary sections and I edit for news, arts and entertainment, podcasts, and magazine. And what are you working on right now? I'm editing an article for a print, art, for a print edition that's coming on Wednesday. Oh my gosh, so fun. Yes. What is something Cav Daily related that you are proud of? Um, I'm proud of getting to see writers and editors flourish and learn and come out with really cool content. What's something most people don't know about Cav Daily? Um, for one week, the Cavalier Daily website did not exist and we lost all of our communication. And you probably didn't know that because we would have been the ones to report on it, but we couldn't. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite article that you've ever written? Um, I got to interview Dean Groves when he left UVA and it was a really cool conversation. <laughs> wow. Who makes you laugh on staff? Um, the humor section, they're super funny, but also Eva is gesturing to herself, so I'll go with Eva. <laughs> uh, what is something you are excited about? The chocolate-covered strawberries that I bought at Trader Joe's last night. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what's your favorite part of the Cav Daily office? Um, when I'm in meetings and water starts rattling through the pipes and it sounds like there's a ghost in the office. Okay, so Zoom or in-person meetings? In person. Why? Spooky ghost. And also, I love seeing everyone's faces and getting to have fun moments with them. Definitely. Um, you get Ox for a Cav Daily meeting. What's the first song you play? Um, I feel like we only go backwards by Tame Impala. If the managing board had a zodiac sign, what would it be? Um, just before this, I pulled the most chaotic zodiac sign, and the answer was Scorpio. So. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 100, how excited are you for this upcoming term? 101. And if Cav Daily had a slogan, what would it be? Um, our current slogan? is tell the history of now but i would change it to tell the history of tomorrow because i'm passionate about time travel Ooh, so fancy yeah. <laughs> hey jessica how are you hi how are you uh what is your role on the cab daily staff i am the executive editor tell us exactly what an executive executive editor does i manage the subjective content on the newspaper so opinion humor and cartoon oh got you um, what's your favorite editorial you've ever been involved in? My favorite one, I'm going to say um, the most recent one, because part of my job as the executive editor is also to manage the editorial board. And so that one was about um, reevaluating COVID-19 guidelines. Awesome. Uh, why did you decide to apply to Cav Daily? I, for a minute before I started at UVA, I really wanted to be a journalist. And so I thought it'd be a great kicking off point. Um, and so, yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> um, what section would you join if you had to start over? 
So I would probably join podcasts. I think that that overlaps the most with my goal of sharing subjective content. Literally sounds so fun. Uh, what has been the most, what has been the best thing about your time on staff? Meeting all the wonderful people I've met so far. And what is the best Cav Daily advice you've ever received? Um, to write about what you're passionate about so that your content is interesting. What advice would you give to new staffers? I would probably tell them to follow their passions to whatever sections that leads them. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that they think looks good on their resume or that they think they have to do. And how do you balance schoolwork and Cav Daily responsibilities? Um, I stretch out my day and just attribute a certain amount of hours or time to each section. Um, and then what I get done with at the end of the day, and then I just have to be satisfied with that. Do you have a favorite article from last semester? Um, I can probably name a few. Can you tell us some? Yes. Um, so some of my favorite articles of my own are um, We Do Not Ask For More Cops, which is a play on words of like the community oriented policing squad. Another one is another one of my own that was Stop Simplifying the Storyline of Montero. Um, Lil Nas X's song, and I like that one just because it was about a topic that most people wouldn't think that an opinion columnist would cover. That those both sound amazing. Um, what's the funniest comment an article has ever gotten? Our most one of our most recent Reddit's got a commented a TikTok sound, the boo tomato tomato sound, <laughs> I um, and I think that that was just the perfect example of like the irrationality of the comments at some points. Definitely. Um, is there any article you're really looking forward to working on this semester? I'm really looking forward to doing endorsements. Got you. So fun. Hey, Ethan. Hello, hello. Uh, what's your role on staff? So I'm the operations manager. And can you explain what the operations manager does? For sure. So I kind of do a lot of different things, but um, I oversee the photo section, production, graphics, website, translation, social media, um, and video. And I also handle a lot of our like, behind the scenes tech stuff. So fun. Um, okay, so I hear a lot about print night. What is that? Yeah, so print night is Wednesdays, every other Wednesday, it's where we sort of finalize our print issue, um, where everything comes together. Sometimes we stay up a little late, but it's always a good time. And how many are there in a semester? There's eight issues, so eight print nights a semester. And what role do you play on print night? Uh, on print night, I put on a lot of different hats, but most of the time I'm just checking over pages, uh, coordinating with um, a production section, photo, um, graphics and just sort of making sure it's all running smoothly. Got you. Um, if Print Night had a theme song, what would it be? Uh, I thought a lot about this. Um, I'm thinking Eye of the Tiger because it takes a lot of determination to get through it. Um, but it's also a lot of fun and that song is a lot of fun. So. And how do you stay awake on those long print nights? Uh, coffee. A lot of coffee. What's your favorite Print Night memory? Uh, print Night memory. Uh, I've enjoyed just honestly like Maybe my first print night was a lot of fun. Um, it was definitely a little intimidating coming in for the first time. Um, I started like kind of like two years ago, so, but it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And what has been your favorite print issue so far? Um, I really enjoyed the rivalry issue. We've done two rivalry issues with Virginia Tech and I've really enjoyed both of those. And what are you looking forward to most about being operations manager? Um, I came from production, so now I'm just excited to collaborate with a bunch of different sections and um, just see how work work with everybody right now. What made you want to join Cav Daily in the first place? Uh, I did the newspaper in high school, so when I came uh, to UVA on my first year, it just seemed like a natural place to find community. And do you prefer Google or Office 365? Uh, unfortunately, I do prefer Google, so that's going to make uh, this transition we're all going about to go through very interesting. May it rest in peace. <laughs> hey, Katrina. Hi. Uh, what's your position on the Cab Daily staff? I am the CFO. CFO sounds like a kind of a big title. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so I basically oversee the advertising and funding finance section and I'm in charge of pretty much anything quantitative of the Cap Daily. And what made you want to apply to Cap Daily? Um, I originally wanted to go into McIntyre and so I thought that um, advertising would be a really good way for me to experience um, for that. Um, I no longer want to go to McIntyre but nonetheless I would not change a thing. Uh, what specifically drew you into the finance side? I've always loved numbers um, as Horrible as that sounds, but I was really drawn into the finance section because of that. What are you looking forward to most about this term? Just working with all of our new staffers um, and getting to know everyone better. What's your favorite Cav Daily memory? Definitely um, Secret Santa that we did last semester. Um, it was a great end of the semester and it was just a really good way to spend time with all that me.
advertising or finance? You know I can't choose. I love them both. Who on staff do you look up to? I can't choose either. I think every single person on the staff is amazing and they all have amazing qualities. What is one fun fact about your time as CFO? Yeah, so funny story. When I um, first did taxes as the CFO, I had a panic attack and <laughs> broke down crying. But now I have a good grasp on taxes. So don't worry, that won't happen again. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is Cap Daily's spirit animal? Um, I would say a beaver because I feel like a beaver can do so many things like swim and build things. And I feel like the cat daily is just as productive and can also do many things. Interesting. Who do you think should join the cat daily staff? Literally anyone. We have a place here for everyone and all people of all interests. What would you tell to first year Katrina who was thinking about applying? I would for sure encourage first year Katrina because little did I know how impactful the Cap DLA has been um, and how large it has been, in, or how large it has yeah, been in my life, sorry. What sections are taking applications? All sections. <laughs> All sections. <laughs> Where can you find the applications? You can find them on our website, cavalrydaily.com. When are they due? Oh my god, that's a really great question. June the 13th of February. February. And last question, any last words? Join us!